Hi everyone, just wanted to give everyone a quick update um, about something that happened. Um, so obviously, we done the paddle boarding video the other day and I hope everybody thoroughly enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, obviously, I know years have been laughing at it. <laughs> I was trying to concentrate, but it was absolutely the best time ever. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, had a right laugh doing it and hope you had a, a right laugh watching this field miserably. Um, at paddle boarding, I will say, but uh, I did give it a go and I'm going to stick with it and I'll carry on a bit more and uh, try again. But where it actually happened was, so that was on um, on Saturday when we were doing the paddle boarding. Um, absolutely fine on Saturday. Um, absolutely fine on Sunday, no problem whatsoever. And then Sunday evening, um, just before I was going to bed, I was feeling a little bit off. Um, and I had this feeling that I was potentially going to uh, vomit. So I didn't take my medication on Sunday evening. Um, anyway, I went to bed, uh, tossed and turned all night until about half past four, five o'clock in the morning. Um, and then woke up uh, vomiting, really violent vomiting, um, really wrenching. Managed to make it into um, the bathroom the first time. Um, really wrenching down the down the toilet and then after sort of five ten minutes sort of calmed down a bit just went and lay back on the bed within five minutes of lying down on the bed um i was then up again this time didn't make it to the bathroom so unfortunately sort of hit the landing and everywhere else and wasn't wasn't good um and I continued to vomit really violently for the next six hours, six or seven hours, um, to the point where, while I was vomiting, um, I couldn't get my breath, um, I couldn't breathe. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't grab just a, a second in between each time I was having a wrench. Sorry if you're having your breakfast or anything like that, and it doesn't sound very good, but every time I was wrenching, obviously, it was I was really struggling, really straining, and, um, you know, my stomach muscles and stuff. We all know how big them stomach muscles are. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, uh, sorry, here's our lily. We are going to get distractions, because we've got our little lily, we're here, and we don't. <laughs> so, anyway, after six, seven hours of vomiting, um, it seemed to ease off a little bit and then it became every hour where I would be getting up trying to vomit and obviously there was nothing left to bring up. Um, I was trying to take a little drink of water and if, uh, it's amazing I could drink a teaspoon of water and vomit a bucket of water back up. I haven't got a clue where that was coming from. Anyway, it got to um, sort of lunchtime-ish um, and I was no better and I was... I couldn't keep my eyes open. Um, I, I was just feeling really, really sleepy. Um, so uh, Alison contacted the the GP, explained everything, and obviously with me other uh, other underlying health conditions, um, the GP said, "Oh, can you come over?" That wasn't going to happen, no, not at all. So the GP ended up coming out to the house um, within the next hour. Um, the, the GP came out, done a couple of quick checking blood pressure, checking oxygen levels and things like that, um, and was really concerned that I was so dehydrated um, that um, my organs might start and um, shut down. Um, and obviously because I couldn't even keep a mouthful of water down, he didn't want to just give us um, any kind of medication at home because he knew I would just be bringing that strip back up. So he called for an ambulance. Um, ambulance arrived within the hour um, and took me straight off to uh, Durham University Hospital. Um, while I was just in the back of the ambulance at the door, the, um, the paramedic managed to put a catheter in me, in me hand 
and started me on um, anti-sickness drugs. Um, and then he was able to then give us um, like a liquid uh, paracetamol and stuff because I had a raging temperature as well um, and try and settle us down a little bit. Um, so when the GP was there, I was actually unresponsive to the GP and unresponsive in the ambulance. But um, when we got to the hospital, just before we set off, apparently the um, all the ambulance drivers had a radio ahead to say they were coming in because um, a lot of ambulance were getting re-diverted because there'd also been an outbreak of the norovirus in Durham University Hospital. Um, so as it happened, we were fine. We managed to get to there, which is great because it's just five minutes along the road from us. Um, but everybody was obviously having to mask up again, the same as when COVID struck, and it was all them sort of precautions. When we first got there, um, I think we were in uh, one of the corridors just on the bed, but within, I'm guessing, probably 15 minutes of, 15, 20 minutes of me arriving, um, because I already have a low immune system and this uh, norovirus was going on, I was put in one of the side rooms out the way. Um, and they came along and again just done all the monitoring, checked blood pressure and things like that. Um, took me blood just to see where I was with me levels as far as the leukemia and stuff um, goes. So to be honest, I would, after being in the hospital for an hour or so, I was actually starting to feel a lot better. Um, still not, <laughs> still not very well, but a million times better than I was before I went in the hospital. Um, so anyway, they the sort of just monitored my blood pressure throughout the day and the, the checked all my um, bloods and everything. Um, and then um, sort of late tea time, they came back around and they went, right, you've stabilised, you've picked up a lot. I'd, I'd managed to get a couple of drinks of water as well and keep that down. So that was quite good. Um, and because I was managing to do that, they went, right, we're, we're going to let you go home because we feel it's safer for you to be at home than it is for you to be in the hospital with this virus going around. It's a little bit concerning when that happens, but as I say, I did feel a million times better than I did before I went on, before I went into the hospital. Um, so anyway, that was late last night. Anyway, I've gotten up this morning, <clears throat> fine. Um, I've, last night when I got back, um, I'd gotten some uh, isotonic drinks, um, managed to, get a few of them down me last night um, and just some dry crackers just to try and get something into us. Um, I didn't have any medication last night um, other than one that I take for me cervical stenosis because that the pain I get off that constantly stops me sleeping and I, I needed the sleep. So I, I did take them, that medication and I managed to get some sleep last night. Anyway, I've woke up this morning um, feel a million times better than I did yesterday. Um, obviously, I've had nothing to tell, but I've, me um, voice is really hoarse at the moment. That's just of wrenching. Um, and yeah, feel a million times better. I've managed to now managed to eat some toast. Um, I've had a few more drinks. I've had uh, a cup of coffee. I've managed to keep all of that down, and I haven't felt as though I'm going to be sick. So uh, that's great. Um, I did take all of my medication this morning, so hopefully back on track with that. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update. And we did actually inquire um, and ask what the thought had caused it. So just skipping back to Sunday afternoon, um, I had uh, the best chicken wings ever, <laughs> taste-wise. I love hot and spicy stuff, and I know I shouldn't really eat hot and spicy with some of the medication that I'm on. But I had some uh, firecracker um, chicken wings that I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, they were frozen and I did cook them in the air fryer. And I always cook them for double the time because I like mine crispy and charred. Um, and the chicken just fell off the bone and it was, I'd, I'd say everybody's lip and, licking the lips now and mouth's salivating. <laughs> anyway, I enjoyed these chicken wings. It was tremendous. So I don't think there was the reason I was bad was to do with the chicken wings or anything like that. Um, and then obviously we asked 
we'd explained there had been paddle boarding the day before. Could that have been the problem in like our rivers and things like that? And they said, well, you know, did you drink? <laughs> did you drink any of the water? You know, did you swallow? No, I didn't. I mean, I know I fell off the board a few times and stuff like that, but, you know, I'm a big boy now. I, I do actually shut my mouth when I fall into water. Um, so, yeah, I dare say I got a couple of little splashes, but nothing of any concern. And the river area that we are in, it's not like it's stagnant water uh, or anything like that, you know, it's, I'm more sensible than that. So, anyway, they sort of came to the conclusion that they don't think it was anything to do with the river. Um, it's highly unlikely that it was food poisoning because they would say that that would be a fast onset and a very sharp offset for the food poisoning, where mine sort of continued throughout the day. Um, I didn't have um, diarrhea or anything like that. It was just vomiting. Um, so, yeah, they've literally just put it down to a sickness bug. That big old brewella when they don't know. Uh, they've just put it down to a sickness bug. Um, they kind of pinpoint exactly, so it may have been food poisoning, may have been the river, we never know. But just for all you avid watchers, um, I'm feeling much better now, and I will be back on that board again very shortly. <laughs> um, and it's been great because of the comments I've been getting. Everyone's commenting, uh, yeah, explained that they've loved watching it. Um, I did go through the challenge of just getting the wetsuit on and actually try paddle boarding. And uh, it's strange because I'm reading the comments and people are putting on that uh, I was paddle boarding and stuff. I don't exactly see it as paddle boarding. I was just sort of splashing about on a board. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's all coming together now. Um, so yeah. Just stick with us and uh, watch this space for the next one. Oh, there's all the dogs starting to bark. <laughs> See you in the next one.